want your wallet? No. You want to take phone calls? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I got two or three people saying I'm going to call them in. How long do you want this to play? Uh, just two minutes. You want the whole two minutes to play? Yeah, well, a minute and a half, you know. I was having a little problem with that one. It worked. What about that? Interesting, uh, interesting little bumper music you got there. <laughs> All right, this is the uh, second hour of the local uh, one-hour shows here on exclusively on WYXC. I don't know if anybody else around the area is doing this. Daryl Mass is in here with us. He is with Barbecue Superstars. And uh, Daryl, welcome, welcome to the airwaves. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm glad to be here. Good, good to have you. Good to have you. Now. I got. I got to ask you. What, when's Johnny going to be here with the with the food? <laughs> Johnny Mitchell is uh, supposed to be coming with some good old barbecue from down there in Hugh Harley. So we're looking looking forward to that. He should be here in just a minute. Uh, he had somebody, of course, that didn't come in on time, and uh, he was trying to work business. on them moving on in here. That's rough. Always. All right. So what, what you got lined up for us today? Well, uh, we got uh, date night. Dylan's going to call in just a little bit, and uh, they've got a whole bunch of recipes and. Uh, we're really excited about that. He's an old fellow out there in California, and uh, he's got more recipes than you can shake a stick at. It's really just unbelievable what he can do with barbecue. And uh, Barbecue Superstars is a platform for barbecue people to strut their stuff. If uh, you're out there and you're a backyard barbecue, or you're a competition man, or you got a uh, restaurant, or you're a meatpacking plant, we want to take it all the way from uh, let's put it in the cooler and... and uh, get it ready to move out uh, to the customer sitting in the seat or else the competition judge receiving the plate and uh, and judging. Uh, we've got Myron Mixon, Bubba Q, Rod Gray, QL, all on the website, and the top names in the KCBS, and Georgia, Georgia Barbecue Association. Uh, we've got uh, Bubba Q and Myron Mixon that really have made the headlines in the national scene. Uh, Bubba Q took 11th in the KCBS last year and He's down there this week in Stark, Florida, right now competing. We was down there in uh, uh, Winter Haven last week, and oh my God. Have you ever been to a barbecue uh, competition that was just off the chain, man? You know, we've had we've had some here. Have y'all ever entered the one here that the uh, homeless, the Good Neighbor Homeless Shelter has? Every year, they're, they're, it's one of their major fundraisers. Have right. You, have you participated in that one? Well, uh, we don't actually uh, compete in barbecue. Uh, we are like a media company for, barbe for barbecue. See. But uh, I heard about that competition, and uh, it's supposed to be smoking hot, just like the one in Winter Haven. But let me tell you about the competition in Winter Haven. Uh, we was down there, and uh, like the competition just got started, and looked up, and the planes were flying over the top when the national anthem was being played. And then we looked out on the water, and uh, uh, they were doing a water ski show, a boat show, uh, they had the pyramid, there was three people on the bottom, two in the middle, one on top, and uh, people flipping and jumping all over in the water, and and uh, then we had Rosie Cafferati that came in and uh, did interviews for us, she's a television host, and uh, I'm going to tell you, they were raising money for the Boys and Girls Club in Florida, uh, in Winter Haven, and that was just the most, now friends, if you've never been to a barbecue competition, and you don't understand what it is. Uh, a barbecue competition is where people come in with their own crews and their own uh, cooking uh, equipment. You know, now you have your NASCAR Elite, the people who have a hundred thousand, hundred fifty thousand dollar trailer that go in there and they do it for a living and travel over forty thousand miles a week. But then you have the competition guy who's who's like smoking peaches. We'd like to give a big shout out to smoking peaches. 
Uh, Oak and peaches. All yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, you got a phone call. Or you want oh, to yeah. go? You want to yeah, take yeah, that? Uh -huh. right, let's go to the phone lines. You're on the Barbecue Superstars. Oh, right. wow. Who is this? All right. All right, Clark. Clark's going to get us on a conference call. So Polk County is where I was for the Lakeland and the Winterfest, uh, the Winter Haven competition just now. Hey, how hey. we doing? Hey, oh, hey, man! Unknown Barbecue! <laughs> how you doing, man? What y'all doing down there? Now, un Unknown Barbecue is on our barbecue page on Barbecue Superstars. And I tell you what, this guy's just got the coolest website in America. Uh, where's the guy who sings? What's his name? Did you hear that? Yeah, hey, Dorsey, what you doing? <laughs> wow, man, that's great, man. Well, hey, uh, you got your guitar with you? Oh, you're welcome. I'm, I'm glad to have you. Now, he's got two videos. If you go on the events page of Barbecue Superstars and look under Winter Haven, uh, you'll see him there. He's also on the promo page, and uh, he just sang some fantastic songs, man. And Man, Odell, now, you ready to go to Nashville? No, are you ready to go? <laughs> well, everybody down... <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I heard that. Now, Mr. Wickham, uh, tell us about that smoker you made. Uh, now, listen, this man doesn't need anybody. He made his own stump smoker type smoker all by himself. This uh, Unknown Barbecue is such a dynamic team. They've got their own website. The website is just unbelievable. And uh, tell us about your stump smoker that you built that's your own brand. Man, now we're talking about a stainless steel cooker that's insulated, that uh, uh, is commercial grade. You could cook 500 pounds of meat on it at a time. You could actually use it in a restaurant and produce enough barbecue to, to fly right along and uh, keep your customers happy. And where are you guys going to be competing at next time? Oh, are you? Well... Are you, are you bringing that fellow who kept carrying the banners out with your championships on them? <laughs> you know that fellow who was bringing the banners out, uh, uh, your compadre there, and he, you know where he all won grand champions and all that? <laughs> How about the snake in the box? Are you going to have that? <laughs> yeah, we... <laughs> We, we got a video on the website. Uh, they kept telling me, hey, man, we'll give you a free drink. We'll give you a free drink. And I thought there might be a catch to it. And so they lifted the cooler up for me to get the free drink. And they opened it up, and this rubber snake jumped out at me. <laughs> I love y'all. Now, look, man, Unknown Barbecue, one of the top names in Florida. But listen, these guys, now, if, if you don't understand what barbecue competition is, how many people's on your team, unknown? Wow. Now, uh, uh, three of y'all are brothers, aren't you?
Well, let me ask you this. What do you think about the KCBS Sam's Wholesale $400,000 20 event program that they're coming up with? Wow, well, y'all going to try to get in one of those events? Wow. Well, well, tell us about the FBA. Well, tell them a little. Mm -hmm. No, uh, tell tell them about the charity that they raise money for down there in Winter Haven. Wow, that's big time. Now I tell you what. Uh, uh, barbecue is competition, and the competition is serious. The rules are followed closely. If you look on the website, I've got a viral video now of a competitor getting disqualified because he was a minute late when he went and turned in, and it seems like the 2 o'clock turn in. Now, the FBA, they do one turn in an hour, so they might turn in uh, at uh, 10, 11, no, let's see, 11, 12, 1, and 2 p.m., uh, but uh, uh, the KCBS will turn in every 30 minutes, so 12.30, 1 o'clock, 1.30, 2 o'clock. And the 2 o'clock turn in seems to be the time that people have a problem. And I know right now, this minute, across the country in Stark, Florida, I know, they're getting their 2 o'clock turn in box ready right now. If you're a competitor out there on the field in competition right now and you're getting your 2 o'clock uh, box ready, try to start walking at least. 15 minutes early because your two o'clock box will be the one to get late and uh, tell us about the stresses unknown of, of trying to get your box there on time Well, now, I've seen some top competitors, and I won't name them, that uh, will wait to try to be the last person to turn in, or they might be try to be the first. And then I've also seen some competitors, like on uh, uh, St. Louis Bandits, uh, I've got a place on the website under events where we went, and there's a man who's down in the lobby, and he's actually watching his watch and trying to time out when exactly he might uh, uh, walk up the steps and turn in. So... You're playing, a, you're playing a dangerous game when you try to be the last person or else you try to pick a specific spot in time to turn your box in. Have you ever heard of that before, Unknown? Well, if people are trying to time the turn in, are they trying to get on the same tables? Is that what it is? I 
I heard that. Shoot, y'all got a fantastic team. It's probably not a problem where you need to uh, get on anybody's table. Well, before you go unknown, uh, run us through how you how a person who's doing backyard might marinate or get their ribs ready to cook uh, for a, a competition. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, like, you know, if you were getting your ribs ready just to do a backyard or bend, uh, what kind of marinade and how would you work your ribs? Yeah, like a marinade and just getting started. Right now, there's a, there's a school of thought out there where after the ribs come off, you put them in tinfoil, you add uh, apple juice to it and put them back on for four or five minutes and that'll get the apple juice boiling inside the tinfoil and that'll really moisturize those ribs, uh, uh, getting them ready. Uh, uh, I think, what do they call that? They call it steaming the ribs or something before you turn them in. Okay, now friends, in Lakeland, Florida, and in Winter Haven, Florida, uh, uh, track number one, uh, we ran into this group called Soul to Earth, S-O-U-L, the number two, Earth, and man, they rocked the house. They rocked barbecue superstars. They got me so doggone excited, they got their own page on my website. And I'm naming them as Barbecue Superstars Band. I put in for a tour, a 52-week tour, 52 events. And on Wednesday, we want to go by the major uh, sites for them to uh, promote their, whoever promotes us. And this is Soul to Earth. Check them out. Is Johnny, Johnny here yet? Johnny Mitchell? Not yet. I'm hungry. What's the matter? I'm hungry. Uh, is he here? <laughs> I, I think he called. I, uh, I think uh, uh, Dylan got a call or something. Said he was supposed to be co-hosting or something. Or... No, I said, y'all making me hungry. <laughs> yeah. I got to try some of these rubs out, hey, man. Um, you know? That's some serious uh, cooking, buddy. The number that came in during Hayden's show from the 908 area code, he wanted that number. Who is it? I don't know, that's what he's going to try to find out. Or he said something, he was going to ask you about it, but he didn't want to know if you guys were He wanted my, I, is somebody I needed to talk to? Or no, something he wanted. Someone he, it's a number he wants. Hayden? Yeah, Hayden wants. Oh, okay. I think, I think 908, I think that's South Carolina. Oh, is it, is it 908? I th yeah, he said it was an area, area code 908 or whatever. It was somebody who called during the show. I guess I, I didn't uh, I didn't catch the call or whatever during the show during the show so I didn't know, but I uh, said somebody was gonna ask you if you had that number or something like that. I think I understood him correctly. Oh, no, I just had to get him out of here. They kept calling. Got a good response. Huh? I don't want to understand it, got a pretty good response. He was getting a ton of emails. You know. He's gonna do good. I like him. I I'd forgotten we had met years ago. On the old morning show here, he brought in the uh, Silver Air guys uh, that morning, I remember. And they brought in the Boy Scouts one time. They found a couple of times. I forgot. I knew he looked for me. That's a fun Is Dylan going to get it? Or is it worse? The actual thing. They're in the old office. Did you want me to put him on hold on the phone? Uh, Is there somebody else calling? Oh, unknown. I still, still got him. On oh, good. That's yeah. cool. Just okay. leave him there. Johnny didn't show up. I don't know what happened. 
Hey, he's busy, I'm sure. Yeah. You know? Then the somebody didn't come in. This is someone that was calling for a live interview? Yeah, yeah. Okay, can you put them through somehow? or no, call they're, gonna, they're gonna have to call on this number when okay. they get off. Uh, okay, tell them to call the other number. We'll put I on need, no, I need no. to have you call the, uh, call the other number. Let me give that to you, and then they'll be able to get you on the Yeah, air. I'll tell them no, we'll it's call. 770-334-8186. Just go ahead and call that right back, and they'll patch you right in. Gotcha. Hey, tell him if it's busy to keep calling. Yeah, and, he, and, and if you get a busy signal, just keep trying. And we'll get you get you through as soon as you freeze out. Okay, thanks, man. That's the Dayton I Dylan guy. He's a recipe man. i tell you what, I might hit the rubs and the uh, sauces right quick and then uh, come to the recipe guy. Okay. It's a pretty good show so far, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Let's rock, rock the house, baby. You come on, rock man. rock the house, man. You really did. Hey, man, how you doing? Good friend of mine. Come on in here. Hey, Don, I'll, let me finish up with him at the top of the hour and then I'll get with you. Okay. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Hour. You're late. But well, watch. you're not late at all. I mean, you got an hour and a half. Yeah, but you don't know what I'm going through. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> but anyway, just hang out out there and as soon as I get off the air with him, I'll come out there. Okay, because we're going to have an hour gap before your show. Well, no, but I figured you'd fill me in on what to do. Oh, yeah. It'll, it'll be easy. You can hang out, man. Just watch him. Ain't nothing. Yeah, you're welcome to stand here with you, us. Yeah. yeah. You can sit down there, Mike. Let's talk. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. I've never done this before, so I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, well, let's, well, let's break in. Here, Put your man. chair right there. Did we'll break in. Did they tell you when you're going to commercials and stuff? Uh, Do what now? Did they tell you when you're going to commercial? No. It's your hour. If you want if you want a break, then I'll, I'll, you just tell me when you want a break. Soul to Earth, baby. Soul to Earth. Now look, you go to my website, they've got on the main menu down toward the bottom, Soul to Earth. Click on that. Uh, Soul to Earth. Soul to Earth. Now if you go to the main menu on my website to the left there toward the bottom, you'll see they have it on the main menu. Click on that. Go to a link. They have a Facebook page. And you make sure you email them. Now look, if you want to be a barbecue superstar roadie, you got to get you a Soul to Earth CD. Now look, baby, let me tell you something. Soul to Earth is going to be the biggest, the newest, and the most fantastic thing that's hit the American music scene in America in a long time. These guys don't just play Christian music. They play the blues. They play baby. They play everything. And uh, they're hot. Now, I was standing up there in Lakeland, and I wasn't thinking about nothing, and the song was just a regular you know, blues song, but all of a sudden, oh my God. You know what happened? What? This guy came out with this harmonica, and he liked to blow the top of the stage off. He was playing was it, a... Was this, was this before or after some of that tasty barbecue? That, that was after. It was during the champ, championship part of the thing, and uh, he, blew that, uh, he blew that harmonica. You know, I thought he was going to blow it apart, and he had the whole place rolling, sold to earth. Well, we want to move on to some rubs now and some barbecue sauces. We've got some friends out there. I want to give a big shout out to Uncle Kenny's Barbecue. Uncle Kenny's Barbecue is located in Garden City, Florida, right outside of Orlando. They've got their own restaurant. They've got their own competition team. Man, they've got a fantastic competition team, but man, have they got some barbecue sauces. Oh, my goodness. Uh, their barbecue sauce is a full-line competition sauce. Now... Now, friends, if you're a barbecue competition team out there, you're a backyarder, let me say this. Now, Daryl Mass and Barbecue Superstars don't run the show, but I'm going to throw an idea out there. Everybody in these competition teams is using Blues Hog Barbecue. Now, Bill Arnold is a wonderful man, and he has supported barbecue for a lot of years, and his barbecue sauce set the standard. Right now in competition, I feel like Blues Hog Barbecue is the standard by which all of the barbecue sauces are measured but if you're a competition team out there why turn in something similar to your competitor why turn in something the same thing everybody else is turning in uncle kenny's offers you an alternative to what you've been serving the judges for that magic bite for that superior bite for that bite that's going to put you up in the competition championship round where you're standing up there with johnny trigg rod gray Myron mixon barbecue and all these championship guys 
Try Uncle Kenny's Barbecue Sauce. Now, there's another guy on the scene that was on TLC Network, Firehouse Barbecue Sauce, and he mentioned to me that that's what he's, he's really angling toward, is trying to get uh, his barbecue sauce to be equal alternative to Blues Hog Barbecue. So that's two right there, Firehouse Barbecue and Uncle Kenny's. Now, why do I keep saying Uncle Kenny's? He won the Triple Crown in Florida. He won the... Uh, uh, Okay, we got a caller. Let's go to the caller on the line. Caller, are you there? All right, you're on. Who's this? Who's this? Hey, man, I love you. What you doing, man? <laughs> I'm dying here chilling, my brother. What's going on with y'all, man? Do you know who this is? No. Yeah, Daryl, this is Daryl, man. Hey, uh, you the lead guitarist? Hey, did you hear me playing you a minute ago? Hey, man. Now, listen, you're going to win a Grammy this year. You are going to win a Grammy. <laughs> and where are y'all at this weekend? <clears throat> Oh man, I wish I could be there. What y'all gonna play? A regular lineup or? Uh, uh, well, uh, we got an opening group. Phil uh, group gonna open up for the Music Rad band. Uh, Daniel Gibbs gonna be opening up. Uh, Mr. Gibbs is gonna be Okay, now friends, if you're in Tampa, Lakeland, Winter Haven, uh, what are some of the other towns right around there? Now look, now look, man, Orlando. It don't matter. It's worth the drive. It's what's the admission cost? Is there a mission? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I think the mission tonight is fifteen dollars. Fifteen dollars. Now look, Soul to Earth is the premier oh, band so in America there. right now. I don't think there's anybody that can drop it hotter than Soul to Earth. This man right here did the national anthem, Jimi Hendrix style, at the end of his song. He had the whole place standing up, freaking out, going crazy. And I'll tell you what else. It's good music. It's family music. A family could bring their kids and everybody to your thing, couldn't it? Yes, yes, man. I mean, it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's home to stuff, man. Shoot. It's about love, ain't it? Man, now look, uh. I got them on the website. I think I've got seven or eight videos right now. I got one that's got two songs in the video that is just off the chain. Uh, Sold to Earth, I promise you, is going to be at the Grammys next year. You get your CD right now, you'll be in on the ground floor. And I'm going to tell you something, man. I, I got a divorce back in uh, 1994. I'll tell you something about myself right there. And, and I learned about the blues. I went down to... Uh, uh, this little restaurant, and there was a guy in there named Sam, and he, he said, get the movie, The Commitments, and I got hooked on the blues, and I have not felt that vibe anywhere until I walked up in Lakeland, and my man was on the microphone, and who is the dude on the harmonica? Man, where did he learn to blow like that? Now look, it was, it was a good show, but when he got on the harmonica, it was a blowed away show. I thought the top of that stage was coming up off there. <laughs> oh, really? Man, I, I tell you, now, you got, what, seven people in your band? Wow. See, now, look, look, America, now, look. You don't understand. These barbecue competitions are a whole lot of fun. You know, you could go down to some amusement park, spend all your money, get spun around and feel like throwing up when you get out. Or you can uh, uh, spend your money traveling a whole lot of places and, and all that. But look, little bit of money, whole lot of barbecue, and then you got bands like Soul to Earth that just come out and blow your socks off. And for a lot less money and a family uh, gathering atmosphere, you can go to a barbecue competition so I challenge you to do this. Uh, go to the FBA, Florida Barbecue Association, Georgia Barbecue 
Association, GBA, SCBA, South Carolina Barbecue Association, or the Southern Barbecue Network, Atlanta Barbecue Society, the Kansas City Barbecue Society, KCBS. KCBS, friends, in case you've never heard of that, KCBS, Kansas City Barbecue Society, is the national number one competition society in the world. Uh, they are located in Kansas City, Kansas. But, uh, friends, they got locations and people all over the world. And, man, get on their site. Go to events. You want to plan something that's going to change your life? Soul to Earth changed mine. You know, it was like going and interviewing people and being on barbecue uh, competitions. And uh, never really, like, broke out and thought it was, like, blast out fun. Man, I walked up there. My man was playing that lead guitar. And he had, had the girl. Who's the girl who sings on the left? Oh, it's your uh, sister. Yeah, Robin Morgan, that's my sister. Who, yeah. who was the little man that was uh, was playing the guitar up there in uh Oh, that's my that's my nephew Brian. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did you see I got him on the video? Yeah, I seen him on the video, but get, get what he's over there. What? He said, uh uh he didn't call me up earlier enough to come on stage and play I said, But well, you got him on stage and you're playing, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's ready to throw in the whole show, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, I tell you, he, he never, he never missed a strong man there. He was rolling on that thing, man. Oh, man. That kid, he had fun, man. Man, we that love kid, you. He had fun. Now look, uh, well, we're gonna let you go. We're gonna do some more about barbecue. But listen, we love you. Uh, send us a message. Let us know where you're at. As far as I'm concerned, now, just to let you know over the air, I haven't told you, but uh, I put in for a national tour, 52 week tour. And uh, we're going to do 20 events, and we'll pay you some big money to travel and pay you big money to play the event. But as far as I'm concerned, you are the official band of Barbecue Superstars, and wherever we got the money and we got to put on the show, we yeah. want you there. We're going to pay you big money, dude, because we love you. Oh, man. Thank you so much, man. And God bless you, man. Y'all keep up your good work, man. All right. You too, man. Keep playing. Oh, you're welcome. All right. So... Uh, we'd like to give a shout out to the Ford Motor Company. I got an F-150. I've traveled about 8,000 miles in the last six months. And uh, Ford F-150 has taken me everywhere I've needed to go. And, you know, I don't know if you're driving a Chevy or Dodge or Toyota or a Honda or whatever you are driving right now. But let me tell you something. Ford didn't take any bailout money. And they're a strong, American, good company. And I just want you to rethink what you're doing if you're driving something other than a Ford. Uh, look at Ford once again because Ford is where America is. What do you think about that? I like that. And I tell you, all this is barbecue talking and stuff. I, I, my dog on stomach's growling. <laughs> I haven't had no lunch yet. And John, you can tell I need my nutrition. Johnny Mitchell's <laughs> Smokehouse is supposed to bring sandwiches to be on the show. Uh, we haven't seen him yet, but... Uh, He's busy. He might be busy. Somebody didn't come. We love you, John. We saw if you're going through it down there in uh, U. Harley. But Johnny Mitchell has got a fantastic competition team, and he started a, a Johnny Smokehouse restaurant over here in uh, uh, U. Harley. And, and the thing about his restaurant is, uh, Tommy, he's, he's got wines. So he's got a big barbecue restaurant, and he's cool. an expert. Huh? I said, cool. He won, I think, that last competition here. Uh, I was talking to you earlier, the homeless shelter. Mm -hmm. I believe his uh, restaurant won. So they have various categories, but I think he won the, the you know, the big meat rib smack and cat category. You know? <laughs> yeah, now we've got a video on the website of his cookers and everything, and uh, uh, he was uh, restaurant of the year, two years running. And uh, but, you know, mixing wine and barbecue is fantastic. Now, we had a caller on the, my Blog Talk Radio show last night. Uh, if you go on Blog Talk Radio and look up barbecue, we're the most popular barbecue radio show on there. And uh, C-Dub Rub. C-Dub Rub is located in Washington State. And uh, that's all C-Dub Rub does. Now, C-Dub is not trying to make barbecue sauce and all that. All he's doing is rubs, friend. And he's in Washington State, and he came on the radio show last night. Now, I don't know the validity of what he said, but Tommy, what he said was, was the laws in Washington State are so tough on barbecuers that a barbecuer can't go on the side of the road and make a living. Now, that's... You're talking about, like, the health inspection thing? Yeah, you got to have... Stuff. You don't just have to have a permit. you got to have a license. 
Yeah, oh uh, yeah, they want that fee. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, I, I uh, made a challenge to him and told him, I said, look, uh, the governor of Washington State, would you please let C. Dub Rub come up on your front yard at your house and uh, uh, let's, uh, let's let him cook and you taste his barbecue and decide if you don't want to ease up a little bit. We got a caller on the line. What's up, caller? Hey, Jeff, what you doing, man? Hey, man, we love you. Now, this is, this is Jeff Massey, our faithful, faithful listener on Blog Talk Radio, and uh, he's got his own barbecue team. What you doing over there, Jeff? Why don't you take us through it? I know it's a 24-hour thing. you got to stay up all night, and you're really tired. But uh, what's been your experience when you go out there? Yeah, and it's a camaraderie ship. Even though you're competing, people will let you borrow stuff, and, and you still have time to uh, really, really talk and get to know each other. Tell us about. Did, have you ever been to a 2 a.m. meeting uh, when uh, the competition people get together at 2 a.m.? Yeah, like a middle of the night meeting where they'll get together, drink coffee, and talk for a few minutes. Hey, Well, now, uh, I know that you've been asking a lot of questions from these big guys calling into the blog talk station. Uh, tell us how you get your Boston butt ready. Yeah. Oh, you have a rib man. Well, tell us how you get your ribs ready. Uh, let me let me just say that uh, on the uh, website, if you look under the Winter Haven event, Unknown Barbecue will take you through the complete preparation of uh, what bone you need to cut between and how you need to uh, 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 prepare it in order to get that square look. Go ahead. Now, now if uh, you use a, use a marinade, uh, like marinated overnight, uh, then you get it out, let it set out and come to room temperature, and then put, put them on the grill. What temperature do you usually cook at? 225. How long how long you leave it on there? Letting it rest will let the juices like reinsert themselves back into the meat. So friends, when you get your meat off the grill, you don't have to serve it right then. Let it rest just a few more minutes, a few minutes before you serve it, and those juices will go right back in the meat. I tell you, uh, there's a whole lot of tricks to it. Now, uh, do you do the thing where you wrap them in foil with the apple juice in it and then reinsert it uh, to glaze and moisten it? Go ahead.
Now, uh, I'll give one of Myron Mix's secrets away. And by the way, hey, Myron, if you're out there, I love you so much. And uh, Myron let me come down and spend the weekend at his house. Do you know Myron, Tommy? I do not, no. Uh, Myron, uh, you know, he's the big man that's a uh, judge on uh, uh, TLC Network Pitmasters. And he, he got on the uh, Food Network and really made barbecue a star. And I uh, just want you to know, he was a winter haven. He took a third or fourth place. And... He got up there in the front and he did his Myron mixing for us. He said, they've been giving out the wrong trophies. He said, but I don't GD what trophy I get. He said, he said, uh, uh, as long as the GD check is good. <laughs> I think that's the truth. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, Myron, Myron's a rough guy and he talks a rough game, but you know something, he called me down to his house. We spent the weekend, we filmed this whole uh, barbecue memory school. We laughed, we cried, we had a good time, and I'm going to tell you something. There is no better person in the United States than Myron Mixon. Uh, if I was down and out and in trouble, then uh, I would want Myron Mixon's number on speed dial because that man will come pull you out of the fire. He's a person that's a real friend, not a talk to you friend. And uh, Myron, wherever you're at, for all you do, this shout out's for you. We love you a whole bunch. And uh, well, we want to do a little more shout outs. Uh, uh, you done with this caller? Yeah. You done? yeah. All right, man. Thanks all right, Jeff. Thanks in. for calling in. Right. You too. Uh, Leslie R. Sams is a competition team in Cummins, Georgia. Her name of her team is uh, Smoking Peaches, and uh, she is a woman competition team. There are no men on her team, and uh, she was at the uh, Lakeland. Uh, competition and she cooked it all by herself her mother and daughter were there and uh, she needs sponsorship now if you're a woman out there and you're tired of men ruling the barbecue world this woman is a major KCBS competitor cool and I tell you man you don't see women in sports that much that step up step forward and uh, she's giving these guys a run for their money and uh, if you go on Facebook look up Leslie R. Sams and I hope she don't kill me for putting that out there uh, don't go to her house and don't but you know try to get in touch with her and offer her if you're a woman out there offer her a sponsorship now the money is coming into the KCBS like NASCAR uh, I predict in five years NASCAR will have as much uh, television coverage and as much radio coverage as uh, in KCBS as there is on NASCAR and if you get on the ground floor with uh, Leslie R. Sams just think you might end up on television with her one time or another KCBS is the hottest and fastest growing organization in the United States and Carolyn Wells as far as I'm concerned you're my mom have you ever heard of the KCBS Tommy? I have yes and uh, they're out Kansas of Kansas City Barbecuing Society, Society right. and uh, you know I keep making this shout out and I want to do it once more I want LeBron James, Julius Peppers, Derek Jeter and uh, whoever the number one guy in the NHL is uh, I should know that and I apologize. The, the uh, uh, guy for Pittsburgh, Crosby? Crosby, yeah. okay. I want each one of those to join up with Myron Mixon, Q Al, Rod Gray and Bubba Q and go to the American Rule and cook a full competition. Now friends, I realize that they're number one, you know, you look at Julius Peppers, he's 300 pounds, 300 pounds. Big muscle man. He, they, oh, played, yeah. they played Denver Broncos. He blocked a pass and intercepted it all in one movement. And he's 300 pounds of muscle. And uh, so this guy is a substantial human being. And, and uh, if he went out there and cooked a a barbecue competition that lasted 24 hours, he'd be real tired, and then the people will start recognizing that it is a sport. And uh, uh, in your mind, you know, I don't know how much you know about uh, barbecue, Tommy, but uh, how do you feel about that, uh, me making a challenge like that? I love it, you know. I love it. I think it's great. I think eventually, you know, you'll get their press agent or somebody that is out there that's associated or affiliated with them and let them know, you know, there's something out there. And who doesn't like barbecue, Daryl? I mean, okay. it, it's the hottest thing, uh, especially here in the South and during the summer. And I just want to remind everybody, I know you, you've had a great show going here so far. just want to remind everybody you're listening to News Talk AM 1270 WYXC Cartersville, and you're listening to the Barbecue Superstars Hour here on the uh, show. And if you've got a quick question, you want to call in and ask Daryl, 
Uh, you want to take any more calls? Go oh, yeah, we'll take them all the yep. way up until seven, the time we have to stop. Yeah, man, 770-334-8186. And we've only got about, uh, we got a little less than eight minutes left to, to the top of the hour. So, 770-334-8186. Go ahead, Joe. Okay, I'd like to make another shout-out to Bubba Q, uh, Bubba Latimer. He's got uh, two restaurants here in Georgia, one in Jasper, Georgia, one in Woodstock, Georgia. We've got an intern that's up here working at uh, the radio station, and I want to give him a chance. You want to get on the radio just for a minute with me? Yeah. Just put sure. your just put just put your mouth right up on the microphone. This one here. Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. This is right, Dylan Patrick. You get right up on the microphone, Dylan. Uh, yeah. This is uh, Dylan Patrick. I uh, have a uh, talk radio experience uh, coming up here at four, and uh, I really like uh, the barbecue show. I learned a lot about barbecue uh, here in this hour. This has been great. Yeah. Thought you did a great job, man. Thanks. Uh, Bubba Latimer is down in Stark, Florida, right now, and he came out of the gate and he went to Okeechobee, Florida, and won the uh, grand champion. Uh, he he went down to uh, uh, Winter Haven last week, and uh, he didn't he didn't place too well, but he's won it two times in a row. The last two, if he'd have won this one, he'd have been able to take their. Uh... Okay, we got a caller on line. Uh, turn turn your radio down or your internet. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, how we doing? Oh, hey, date night doings. Great, you finally got through. Hey, Ken, uh, tell us a little bit about your website. Wow, Date Night Doings is on Barbecue Superstars, and we got a link directly to his website. Uh, what are you What are you cooking this weekend, Ken? Oh my goodness. Hey, tell us about the lamb chop thing that you had with the mashed potatoes, man. That about blew my mind. <laughs> oh man. I love those. I just gained three pounds. Mercy. <laughs> God. Oh my goodness. Now, now, well, I wa go ahead. I wonder why he said good morning. He's in California. <laughs> and man, we're way after lunch over here. And you sitting here talking about all this lamb chops and mashed potatoes. And our, and our lunch didn't show up. <laughs> yeah. Well, give it to us. What's your website? Okay. D O I N is in Nancy S. Date night doings. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. Uh, we got it. We got it on the website on barbecue super BBQ superstars com, and there's a link right there. And uh, well, we ain't got but three minutes left, and uh, I want to give uh, Bo on on uh, Soul to Earth another kick before we go. I tell you, I've had a good time. It's been a wonderful show, and uh, what's track? Uh, uh, track number. Uh, 
four. Four. And uh, hey, go to our website now. Get get in get in touch with this guy down here at WYXE. He's got a fantastic thing going on. Your community needs to get behind this fella. Uh, we need to get a major radio station going. He needs to be AM, FM, video if he wants to do it. <laughs> this guy's rocking the house, and he let barbecue superstars come in here and rock the house with him. And we support him a thousand percent. So Tommy, Tommy Young of WYXE, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, thanks a lot. All right, here's your song, okay? Who is this? What's the, what's the name of the group again? It's Soul to Earth. All right, here we go. <laughs> Excellent job, man. That went great. Man. <laughs> you do a great job, man. I've been, I've been, that was really, really good. Uh, <laughs> Dylan's going to be running the board for me on Saturday. Thanks for okay. me get a shout out. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah. Well, it's about all of us, you know. I can't, can't deal with that. Yeah. nothing involved. Now, uh, you don't take credit cards, and I couldn't get no money out of the dang credit card thing. So, 1440. Make sure write down your correct address, and I'll next day area you a check. I know. I apologize. Did you get the email I sent you with the contract? No, I never, never did. did Have you got around here? I'll uh, I'll sign it right quick. No, I have to bring them when I did. Yeah, I'll, I'll catch you next time I come down there. Where do you live? I live in Spartanburg, South Carolina. That is the land of barbecue. Yeah, it is. It is. I like that you're doing that with the Undiscovered Band. I'm sure they appreciate that. Oh, yeah. There you go. Man, I, I uh, was supposed to have Barbecue Magazine Online call in and Rosie Caffarelli, but they never called, man. Shoot. They may have yeah. tried to call, man. You know, oh. if, if they keep calling, it's just going to be busy. So if you're expecting a lot of calls, mm -hmm. you'll have to get get what you want done, get them off the line, and free the line up. Now, Tom, we're going to put you on that, baby. Let's I go. love it, man. <laughs> I love it. I can do the ID when it's time to come up. Huh? I'm asking.